Hi everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be collecting some data today. And data is information, information that you gather so you could see it and understand it better. But how do you get that data? What do you do? Where do you start? Well, we always start with a question. And today we are asking, what is your favorite fruit? So as you can see here, I have a title. It says my favorite fruit. And here are the choices. You see watermelon, strawberry, and apples. So if you were a part of this question, you were asked to pick what would be your favorite. Would it be watermelon, strawberries, or apple? You found the correct picture and you put it on the board. So technically, these are all the votes of the people that were part of this question. But now, it doesn't look that easy, does it? it? Looks all mixed up. So what do you think I need to do? Well, I think I need to organize this information. I need to put these fruits into categories. I think we should put all my apples with the apples, all my strawberries with the strawberries, all my watermelon with the watermelon. And let's see how it changes some things. So hold tight. When you come back, you're going to look at something a little different. Okay, and we're back. So now when you look at my information, looks a little bit better now, doesn't it? I see all my apples together, all my strawberries, and all my watermelon. So now what should we do? Well, as you can see, I have a little table up here, a chart, a graph, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm now going to count what I have, and I'm going to change it not only from a picture, but I'm going to change it into a tally mark. Tally marks are great to show numbers of something, so it's easier to count. So let's go ahead. Let's start with our watermelon since that's our first one, okay? So let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight watermelon. So now I need to change that into tally marks. So watch how we do it. One, two, three, four. Do you know what happens when we get to five? <laughs> we have to group that. So when we group tally marks, we group them in sets of five to make them a little bit easier to count. So here's our five. Now, six, seven, eight. So now this is this information for the watermelon from picture to tally marks. So now let's look at our strawberries. Let's count them. One, two, three. Let's change them to tally marks. One, two, three. So now do I need a slash mark? Nope, because it didn't reach the number five. Let's check our apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go ahead, set up our tallies. One, two, three, four. We need that slash mark. Five, and then six. So now, looking at our information, it started very messy, didn't it? Had all our fruit all over. But what did we do? We put them into categories by type of fruit. Apples, strawberries, and watermelon. Then what did we do? We took that information. Then we changed them into tallies. So now I could actually take these pictures away because all my information is already here in this tally chart. So if we want to count, 
we could count differently here. So now I have my watermelon. So instead of counting each one by one, notice how I have my tally marks. See, this is already set up as a five. So I have five, the five in my brain, and now I'm gonna count on six, seven, eight. Now I can write my number eight. Here's my strawberries. One, two, three. How about that? Now I have my apples. Remember, I already have a group of five. Five and one more makes six. So now with this information, I could actually start asking some questions. Let's keep it easy. Which fruit had the most votes? Now, you could look at it from the picture. You could look at it from the tallies or the number. And what could you say? Who had the most? Watermelon, certainly. Which type of fruit had the least amount of votes? Well, looking at my pictures, looking at my tallies, it was the strawberries. Now, what happens if I wanted to ask a tricky question? What happens if I wanted to ask how many were in all? Well, let's keep it easy. Let's count all our pictures here. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen people all together voted on this particular graph. They answered that survey question. What was your favorite fruit? Now, what else could I do? Could I take this and use this in another graph? Absolutely. I could take this and change this into a pictograph. I could change this and put this into a bar graph. All my information is here already. It's all organized. It's all set up. I could easily change that. So, boys and girls, I hope you liked our little tutorial today on organizing information, putting it into categories, and setting it up into a tally graph. As I always say, I encourage you to try this at home and have a great day. I'll be talking to you again soon. Bye everyone.